guys, welcome back to Cheers. I'm here to do an all day wear test and a review on the Eliza Vetka Milky Piggy Moisture Sparkle Cream. And this is what the product looks like. It is so cute, it has a little cute pink pig. This is a cream that you're supposed to apply under your makeup and under your foundation to provide like a pearly glow for the skin. So it's kind of like a primer, but a moisturizing primer. So the package comes into a tub. The consistency is so thick that I don't think it could be put into like a pump or anything like that. I do see it being squeezable though. So like if it was in a tube, I think I would prefer actually a tube packaging better, but they do make it pretty hygienic to use and you actually get a ton of product in here. It is 3.53 ounces of moisture sparkle cream. And once you open it, it's a twist off lid. The lid is super adorable too. Once you twist off the lid, you get a safety cap and there is a spatula holder that clicks off like so. So it comes with a little spatula to keep everything hygienic. You don't have to keep dipping your fingers into the product, but this lid is very airtight and I don't know if it'll change once it gets a little emptier. Ah! Whoa. It's very airtight, but it is messy because it doesn't have like a little handle or anything to pick it off with. This is what the product looks like. It kind of has like a whipped cream consistency, super thick. Like you can see I'm tipping it literally sideways and it's not moving anywhere. It does have like a pearly sheen. I don't know if it's catching up on camera, but I will show you on my hand here. Here's the product on my spatula and then onto my hand so it is really thick as you can see it's not really moving anywhere like even if i shake my hand like it's just there it's super thick i'll show what it looks like blended out a little bit so i wiped some of the product off it reminds me of like the mac strobe creams it has like a pinky purple shift to it so that's it all blended in. I don't know if you can see the sheen. You can kind of compare hands. So this is the one with the Eliza Vetka's Moisture Sparkle Cream, and then this is without. So you can see it really evens out the skin tone and provides like a really pretty glow to the skin. As far as the scent goes, it's very pleasant. It's kind of floral, but also like a a fresh scent, almost like a really nice fabric softener type of smell. And you can feel it, like it's not a super lightweight type of cream, like you can definitely feel it on your skin. So I think my dry skin viewers out there are really gonna appreciate it. So I'm gonna go over some of the ingredients. A lot of the main ingredients, I'm just reading it off of Jolse. Um, they mention glycerin, water, sunflower oil, jojoba seed oil and macadamia seed oil and there's a lot more but i just kind of wanted to mention those you're getting a lot of different plant oils in this product so it is going to be a heavier cream for your skin like even now my skin is still slippy like oil but i think as far as makeup application goes on top of it it really makes it sink in i did notice though if you are using maybe like a water-based foundation it might not work as well just because it is a lot of oil in the cream and i did notice a little bit of um creasing right here where like my foundation and concealer met and i didn't get that on this side where i didn't have um the product underneath but something with the formulas it does kind of cake up so just be aware of that i honestly think just wearing this on a no makeup makeup day would be really pretty on your skin just because you would have that really pearly glow. There's also an ingredient, it's like one of the first ingredients in here and it's called endocene. Endocene is derived from yeast and it's an ingredient added to a lot of skincare products for its anti-aging properties. It energizes your skin's appearance and therefore kind of leaves a smooth filter-like finish and I definitely saw that when I applied the cream. If you wanna see the application of this cream as well as what makeup looks like on top of it, then just keep watching. I'm gonna go in with the Eliza Vetka Moisture Sparkle Cream on the right side of my face for this all day wear test. And I haven't used this much, so I've just been kind of going in with whatever's on the lid with my spatula. So I'm just gonna scoop a little bit 
and swipe it on my face. I'm gonna start with that and see if I need to go in with more. I like to pat it in first and then smooth it out. And I originally bought this cream because of the moisture aspect of it. And it is very thick, so a little goes a long way. It has a pearlized finish and you can kind of see it evens out my skin tone a little bit. So this is the side with the Eliza Vetka Moisture Cream. And this is the side without. So you can just see like already it kind of evened out my skin tone and it's providing a nice glow all over. So I'm gonna see how foundation looks on top of this now. And I wanted to try my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I've been using the BC Dacian by Tony Moly like every day, but um, that foundation's already dewy. So I kind of wanted to try one that's a little more demi matte and finish. And I'm carrying two right now because I'm in between shades. I mix 110 porcelain and 128 warm nude to get my perfect shade. So I'm gonna go do that and then apply it to my face. So this is what it's looking like after foundation and concealer. This is the side without and the side with. Just looking at it, I don't see too much of a difference. I do notice though that in certain areas that maybe I didn't blend the moisture cream in well enough, like it is getting a little cakey. And I don't know if it's just like maybe with this foundation that it's doing that or if it'll do that with others, but it does seem to blend in with your finger, but it kind of gets rid of the coverage. I'm just gonna see what happens with blush. I'm using the Blush Sticks by ColourPop, and mine is in the shade Mini Me. And since this is mine, I just kind of go right in onto my face and use my fingers to blend that out. Both applied blush really nicely. I'm going to do my bronzer, my e.l.f. primer infused bronzer. And I'm going to fast forward through this, see how it sticks. So the bronzer went on really smoothly on both sides. Now I'm gonna add some highlighter and I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter and it's in the color 050 Rose Gold Molten. And it just looks like that really pretty sheen. All right, so this is what the base is looking like. This side has a very nice glow from within type of look, whereas this side, like, it just has the sheen from my skincare, which I'm curious to see because that tends to go away for me throughout the day. So I'm hoping that this stuff keeps me dewy all day, or dewy looking at least. It does feel more moisturized on this side. Like, this side already feels kind of like my skincare is absorbed and everything and this side still feels like I have some moisturizer on it. I'll finish all of my eye makeup and things and jump back on here before I go about my day. Okay, I finished the rest of my makeup so now I'm gonna go about my day. Um, we had a snow day here and as many of you know, I teach. So um, it's my day off. I think I'm just gonna spend most of the day lounging. I do have some dinner plans later on tonight. So um, I'll just kind of check in throughout the day. Um, I did have a little bite to eat, hence the change of lighting. I had a little pizza for lunch. It is currently 11.46 a.m. And I think I've had this foundation on for about 45 minutes to an hour now. And this is how it's looking so far. I really don't see too big of a difference on either side. So I'm really curious to see how it'll wear throughout the day. So um, I'll check back in with you real soon. Hey guys, I'm checking back in. It is 3.08 p.m. So let's see, I think I've been wearing this for about a little over three hours now. I've been inputting grades and things into grade book on the computer, on the couch, and watching Cheer on Netflix. And if you guys haven't watched it, I highly recommend that you do. Even if you're like not a 
super big fan of cheerleading. Like it's just so fun and you get to just really learn about the sport and every person's background is very like moving and um, it's really good if you guys have time to watch it. I've been like binging a couple episodes while grading. I'm gonna do a little check-in. So if you remember, this is the side that had the moisturizing sparkle cream on and this is the side that just had my skincare underneath. Surprisingly, this side is more dewy. Not in a better way as this one. This one has like a very soft glow where this side just looks shiny and I think like the little amount of oil I do have is peeking through a little bit for the glow factor wise like you can kind of see how this is like really shiny right here and this one's not it's just kind of like a glow from within I am noticing a little bit of like sinking into my fine lines that the makeup is doing on this side and not so much on this side I think my oils kind of helped everything blend together and I when I applied the moisture cream at first, this is the part where I was like noticing the caking happening. So, I mean, it's gone away, but it is sinking in. Like it just doesn't look as flawless as this side does. I haven't really done much. I haven't like been out yet. So um, this is what it's looking like with super light wear activities. So far, I'm pretty impressed. I like the glow. My skin feels moisturized still. I would say a little more moisturized than on this side. They're both like tacky, but this one has more of like a smooth finish where this one just feels like a little bit greasy from my skin. But um, yeah, that's this check-in and I will see you guys soon. Um, it is 6.56 p.m. right now and I've been wearing the primer for about seven hours almost and I'm just checking in. I ran some errands and now I'm watching some TV but my husband just came home and I want to ask him which side of my face looks better to you. Give me your honest opinion. Not through the camera, in person. Your right side. My right side? Yeah. You heard it here, folks. He said my right side. That's the side with the primer on. Why does it look better? Darker. <laughs> it's darker? Are you sure it's not just the lighting? It's better. Does this it looks help? good. Like, what about it is good? Uh, the color. It says the color. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't really do makeup, but from an untrained eye, he says the right side looks better. So I am about to go to dinner, so I will check back in with you guys later. I just got back from dinner. It is 9.44 now with my sister, so Nicole. What side of my face looks better? This side or this side, foundation-wise? Uh, the right side. This side? No, this side. This side? Yeah, but maybe just because you have like a blemish on this side. No, I think this side's better. This side's better? Yeah. Okay, so my sister says the left side's better. She did just buy heels. Do <laughs> you want to be in it? Look at the, just show them my heel. Do you see it? Ooh. It's great. Oh, I see the reflect too. Oh. The 3M, yo. She got style. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess the primer is not very... <laughs> it's not all that. <laughs> But um, I'll check back in with you guys when I get home. Hey guys, so it's the end of the day. It is about 10.30 p.m. I just got home from dinner and hanging out with my sister. Just kind of wanted to update you guys on how my foundation is looking. I think by the end of the day, it looks pretty similar, if I do say so myself. Um, I think this side with my natural oils and everything, it kind of like... The foundation's pretty much gone. It like melted into my skin. My highlight and blush are still there. Um, this side too, it it's great. I actually do notice a little bit more of like a flawless finish on the Eliza Vetka side, but I do notice caking under the eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have like caking under the eyes right there and I don't have that as much on this side so i think that's the cream because that's the only difference i had on my skin today but everything else like skin wise i think i prefer this side i think maybe next time i go in and use the cream i would just avoid this area right here to kind of make sure that doesn't happen um with my concealer but um overall i do feel moisturized like this side of my face is a lot more moisturized feeling than this side of my face is 
So I do appreciate that for the winter time. And I definitely see myself wearing this on no makeup days. Um, just as a little pick-me-up and a little brightener for my skin. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this wear test um, and kind of the updates throughout the day. Um, leave me comments below if you've ever tried the Eliza Vetka Moisture Sparkle Cream and um, kind of let me know your thoughts on it if you've ever tried it or if you're wondering on trying it. I think for the price and what you get, and the amount you get, it's definitely worth it if you have dry skin. Give this video a like if you enjoyed watching our video. Subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so that you're notified on new videos every week. And until next time, cheers to a good week, guys. Bye.